Welcome back to the channel everybody. It doesn't look like much, but this is a nice little Bellum Knight fossil. It's got a little bit of colour poking through on the end, but you can see there's a thick crust of sand around the edge. And because it's such a crystal piece, any sand that's going to be in it, we're going to see. There's going to be no hiding from it. But we are going to try to grind it back and see if we can get anything out of it. Because I love this stuff. It's straight from Cooper Petey. Beautiful little fossil. And we're going to see if we can get anything out of it. Could be a bit of a dud, but there's a bit of colour in there, so it's worth a try. We might lose a fair bit on this one. I'll just set the scales going. And we're looking at a bit over 6 carats in the full rough. And I think we're going to lose a lot of that. More than 50%, that's for sure. So we'll get it under the knife and we'll see if we can get anything out of it. Because I've got some great... I think most of my best pieces of opal are Bellum Knights. They can come out really well and surprise you every now and then, so let's peer through the crust and see what we get.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we are carving, carving away, gotten rid of a lot of that crust, and you can see that there's this beautiful purple, purple green kind of color. There's a little bit of red down one end. It's really nice, but if I hold it on this angle, you'll notice something, if the purple can leave me alone. That sand on the back there, because this is such a crystal opal, such a clear transparent crystal, we see it way too much. Now, if this was a white opal, and we had this nice color, and we still had this inclusion on the back, there is a chance that it'd be fine. You'd just tidy up the front, just flatten the back a little bit, and it'll just sit there nicely and look beautiful. But because of how crystal clear it is, that back you can see no matter where you've got it, except for like here. So what we're going to do with this one is tackle the issue of crystal opal and really just cut that right back. We're just going to flatten that back surface, which means you do lose the bellum knight shape completely at that point. But we've already done that a bit by carving into the face of it anyway, because there was that streak of sand. So we're going to have to, unfortunately, just grind that right back. So there's a couple mills there that have to come off. We'll do that now, and then we'll see what we've got at the end. Alright, so here we have it. Gotten rid of all the inclusions, but you can see we've had to flatten out heaps at the back and the front. So, unfortunately, it is no longer a beautiful piece of bellum night. The sand had defeated that dream. And instead, what we've got is probably really good doublet material. So, I'll just demonstrate it here. This is just a black piece of plastic. And if I just place that there, you can see the instant change that you get. And this is basically what it's going to look like as a doublet. It'll actually look a little bit better because this black plastic isn't the darkest and it's also quite uneven surface. So when it sits flush and flat and I grind it back a little bit thinner because it's a little bit too thick right now, it will actually look amazing. So we're not going to have a complete dud from this. We've gotten all the sand out, all the imperfections out, and all we need to do is probably go with the doublet. There's even a tiny little dot of red there. So you can use this trick to kind of pick which side you want to show off as the doublet as well. For me, I think it might actually be this side. It's The purple's just a bit more vibrant. There's still a few speckles of red come through. But yeah. I haven't actually done any videos on the doublets yet, but I've taught a whole heap of you privately how to do it. And some of the results you guys are getting are absolutely blowing my socks off. You are making some of the best doublets out there. So keep it up, and it makes me feel like I don't even need to bother recording a video, but I will because it'll be nice for other people to get into it as well, not just the ones that have contacted me about it. But yeah, we'll explore a whole heap of different methods, maybe ones that no one's actually tried before. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next video. This one hasn't worked out quite exactly to plan, but... I still think we're going to get something beautiful out of it in the end, so you'll see it again in the future. Catch you guys.